this is going to add to that sort of martyr complex um, on the Trump side of the dialogue, which already existed in the Republican lexicon because of the various uh, indictments against him, because he was found guilty in New York, because he's awaiting trial in various other cases. Kevin, you're getting some more reaction pouring in from lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Well, right. I mean, I think the, the one that stands out to me at the moment is uh, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi um, for a couple different reasons. One, on January 6th during the Capitol attack, she was one of the folks that was targeted by those who were uh, ransacking the Capitol building. And then also, of course, subsequently, her husband was attacked by an individual who went to her home and hit him with a hammer. Um, and, and so she invokes this in her, her tweet about this incident. One other thing, circling back to the president's remarks that was notable, he only took one question, or at least responded to one of the shouted questions, and that was uh, as to whether or not he believed this to be an assassination attempt. Uh, he said that he didn't have all the facts yet, that he has an opinion, but he didn't want to say until he had all those facts in order. Obviously, this investigation now ongoing, the FBI, Secret Service kind of spearheading this. We're also hearing from another Republican, Congressman James Comer, who is notably the chairman of the House Oversight Committee. He says there are now questions and Americans demand answers. I've already contacted the Secret Service for a briefing, and I'm also calling on Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle to appear for a hearing. The Oversight Committee will send a formal invitation soon looking to take this to the investigatory level uh, because clearly there are now questions raised as to how big the perimeter was, was the perimeter fully vetted, why was this gunman allowed to get so close to this rally venue, even if they didn't get in, according to the Secret Service. There is other news out of Washington tonight, and that is that the president is actually going to be coming back here this evening. This is a new update uh, to the president's schedule. He was in Rehoboth, Delaware, or at least in Delaware this evening, and now they're going to be returning here to D.C. One could argue this is largely symbolic. The president has all sorts of access to information, to staffers, to, to details about the world uh, at his fingertips, wherever he happens to be. This allows him to be back in the center of action at the White House to send the message that uh, this was a serious day in our nation's history. And now I am able to really be at the command center in, in charge of things. It's worth noting this, of course, all comes as President Biden is facing all sorts of questions about his own future. Uh, this whole past week has been defined by chaos here in Washington amongst the Democratic caucus, as some have called for Biden to step aside from the presidential ticket.